Hi guys, welcome to Reality with T. Um, I want to talk about Braxton Family Values. The season just started last night and, you know, I we had a lot of fun last night. I had fun with the episode, so let's talk about it. This won't be long. I just want to give you guys my thoughts. So, we start out with Toni Braxton doing her photo shoot for her new album and Tamar comes and it's so exciting to see the old Tamar because... What we have been seeing recently has been like the dramatic Tamar, the Tamar that can't get herself together from her reality show. She was just all over the place. You know, she was like, she had high anxiety. She had, you know, a lot of stuff going on. We see her as being kind of like, she always, she's always talking about herself being the victim. She is a victim to me, to what I think is emotional abuse. You know, she's back and forth in the news with David. So it was so cool to see her looking good, back to her old self. Um, and then, like, as I said before, like, I have been listening to all of her, like, her albums over the last few days. And I'm like, she is so talented. She's so dope. And then when I look at her and I see her directing the video, you know, the, the shoot for Tony, I just, it, it just... It's true what Ayana said, that all of her drama and all this personality stuff with her overshadows her actual, her actual talent because she is such a talented woman. Um, she has always been very comfortable, you know, directing, choreographing. Um, basically, you know, she was the one that would be behind the scenes with Tony, you know, telling her, pose this way, do this. You need to have dances. You need to have this. You need to have that. She's very good at that. So just to see her in her element and like happy, well, seemingly happy and just kind of like being herself, her jokey self, supportive was just so dope and awesome. So, you know, Tony's, of course, looks good. Her, like, 55-year-old self, she looks like she's about 35. She's doing her photo shoot. Um, she has some new songs out. So, of course, she's always good. Um, they talk about, you know, her niece passing away. They talk about it briefly. If you guys remember, they have a niece. The brother Michael's daughter was about 23 or 24. And about a year and a half ago, she died of an overdose. And I went to her Instagram, and I went to Tracy, and some of the other Instagram, and it seemed to me, this is just what I, I don't know, but it seems like Michael raised her. It didn't seem like her mother was in the picture. I'm not sure why. I don't know if she passed away, or she just wasn't, um, I don't know if there's a drug issue. I don't know what it was, but she wasn't, it didn't seem that she was in the picture. And it seemed like, from the girl's Instagram as well, that she would always post and kind of call Tracy her mommy. And Tracy, in this episode, said, that was my daughter. I don't care what y'all said, that was my daughter. You know what I mean? I was her second mother. And it seems like she was the closest to Tracy. So um, we get into it later, how she talks about she's still grieving because she lost her daughter. So... Um, Tracy and the husband are talking and they talk about what happened in Napa, which was the last time we saw the Braxton sisters when they were in Napa and they had this big blow up. You see Tracy kind of attacking the camera. She uh, was about to look like she was about to fight Tawanda. She was just angry at everybody. And the husband got involved. For some reason, Tawanda's boyfriend got involved. And that was Tracy's issue. Like, Tracy's husband even said, I have been around for 29, 30 years, and I've never gotten involved in the sister's stuff. My father-in-law, their father, told me not to. So for you to just pop up as a boyfriend and try to start some crap, and you don't know the backstory of this, the backstory of that, you're just causing, you're drumming up issues that you have no idea about. So you need to kind of step back, you know? And he was like, just me commenting is the most I have ever been involved in this. And even Tawanda agreed with him. He was like, because this isn't my business, you know? And, but he said, I am here to support Tracy. So, you know, she says she feels like to her sisters, like she's like a sister cousin type of a thing. Like she feels like the outsider. She's been saying that for a while. She says, you know, I feel like I have to take whatever they say to me. And she said, you know, people, there are things that people don't know that have been said to me. I have been told I'm not a Braxton. They have said to me, you're dead to me, things like that. So there are things that have happened that are deeper and way in the background that we have no idea about. So this is where Tracy gets a lot of her anger from and unresolved issues. Um, but I will say, I was like, with Tracy without the makeup and just like the simple hair, she looked beautiful yesterday as well. So then we talk about, um, we're gonna have a bachelorette party for Trina because she's getting married. And I believe it's in Atlanta. And it's at Tasha from Escape's house because Trina and her are best friends. And then you also see Lily there from SWV and a few other, I think the, the lady from the Little Housewives of Atlanta or something like that, she was there. There's a few people there. So, um, you know, they want to dress up. It's supposed to be a hoe party. And I was so, I was like, yo, I want to dress like a hoe. That looked like so much fun. They were dressed as hoes. Everything was like penis this, penis that. It was cool. Of course, Tawanda was planning it. And, um, 
you know, and uh, every all the sisters were there, but they put everything to the side so they could have fun that night. Of course, Tamar is there. And I don't know if you guys remember from one of the, when I did one of the reviews of Tamar's show, and she was talking about the bachelorette party, I said, I bet you Tamar is going to be there acting like, oh, I'm too, I, this is too much for me. I'm too good. I'm going to take myself upstairs. And, and that's what she did. She sat in this, all the stairs the whole time. Are we doing that? Are we talking about penises? You know, she had her little comments and everything as if she is so prude, the whole thing, right? But I just know her. I know her. I know her act, right? Because we know that's not the case. So, you know, they had, um, and remind you, Tamar showed up looking dope. Like her outfit, her little whole outfit was dope. Her hair was the bomb. Like she just, she was the bomb the whole episode. Like I was just like, oh my God, I miss the old Tamar. So either way, Tawanda had, they had like a, a tantra type of a sex demonstration show thingy where it was like a man and a woman that were being like highly, you know, seductive and sexual with each other. Like the woman was sitting on the man, the whole thing. Everybody's kind of looking. And then at one point people, everybody's just kind of talking like, wow, dude, you're saying these things. And then Trina thought that it was disrespectful to the performers and she got very upset she went upstairs this is disrespectful everybody's talking why are you not being quiet so they went upstairs got her brought her back down they had a good time then the next part of the, the demonstration was that this guy did like a demonstration of how to do like that whole grapefruit thing that you saw on girls trip or like he gave everybody a cucumber and a grapefruit and how you're supposed to kind of like you know do whatever with your man to please him with the grapefruit so they did that and that was funny. That was hilarious. And then you have the strippers come out. And then that's always fun. I think that's like the best part. Everybody has a good time with that. Everybody's embarrassed and they're laughing and joking. So they had a great time. Everybody had a great time. So, um, you know, then we talk about Trina's wedding at coming up. They meet with the dad and Miss Wanda. The dad wants to sing for the wedding. Apparently he can't sing. And so Trina's kind of trying to be like, uh, no, he wants to sing Un Unforgettable by Nat King Cole. And they're like, uh, no, we don't want that to happen. Um, Trina's going to have an all-male wedding party, which is they just wanted to do something different. She didn't even want her sisters involved. So Vaughn, I believe, has his two sons in it. She's going to have her two sons in it. And also the father, maybe the brother, but basically it's all male. So she won't have bridesmaids. She'll just have, I guess, men of honor or something like that. And at the end, you see Tracy and Tawanda talk together. And because Tony wasn't able to come to a bachelorette party because of a photo shoot. But they talk and they talk about, Tracy talks about creating boundaries for herself. She talks about grieving for her niece that she lost. She talks about... Um, she is now understanding how she wants to be treated, what she will accept from other people, what she will not accept from other people. Um, Tawanda did apologize and she, Tracy said, um, I could accept the apology, but I wanted to be sincere. And she says to Tawanda, she's not ready to talk about all of the underlying issues that they have right yet. She did say something about, you know, the wedding or this, you know, us being together is a good time to talk about it, but she's not ready yet because she wants to make clear how everybody is going to be allowed to treat her so i guess we have to see when that comes because i guess it's going to come later on in the season um, but either way let me know what you think comment like subscribe share uh, let me know what you think in the comments and i will see you next week braxton family values thank you for joining reality with t see you soon